morning and welcome to the new chapter electrostatic potential and capacitance in the last chapter you learned about electric field its properties its representation etc now in this chapter we are going to learn about a new physical term called electric potential the electrostatic potential difference between two points is defined as the work done in bringing a unit positive charge from one point to another let w be the work done in moving a charge q from one point to another in an electric field then the potential difference between the two points is given by potential difference is equal to work divided by charge or v is equal to w divided by q the si unit of electric potential is volt and actually volt is joule per coulomb and we have defined 1 volt as follows electric potential at a point is 1 volt if 1 joule of work is needed to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to that point in that electric field now let us derive an expression for the electrostatic potential at a point due to a point charge so let us consider a point o where a charge q is kept now i want to calculate the electrostatic potential at a point p which is at a distance r from the charge q so what we have to do we have to bring a unit positive charge from infinity to the point p and we should calculate the work done in doing so for that i am considering another point p dash which is at a distance r dash from o and that point p dash is intermediate between the point p and infinity so i am considering this point p dash which is at a distance r dash and this p dash is in between p and infinity now i am considering a small displacement dr from p dash towards q so first of all i am going to calculate the work done to move the unit positive charge from p dash by a small distance dr dash from that i can find the total work done in bringing this charge from infinity to the point p so the force acting on the point the force acting on the point charge kept at p dash due to the source charge q is given by vector f is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q divided by r dash square into unit vector r dash you know r dash cap is the unit vector vector along op so work done against the force to bring the charge from r dash to r dash plus dr dash is by this small distance dr dash is given by dw is equal to negative 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into dr dash divided by r dash square this negative sign comes because delta r dash is less than 0 and it is negative but the work done is positive the total work done to bring the charge from infinity to r is obtained by integrating the work expression for the work done within the limit r dash is equal to infinity to r dash is equal to r and that is w is equal to integral infinity to r dw where dw is the small amount of work done therefore w is obtained by w is equal to infinity to r negative 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 q into dr dash divided by r dash square we have made a substitution for dw that's equal to negative q by 4 by epsilon 0 into integral infinity to r 1 by r dash square dr dash on integrating this we will get negative 1 by r and applying the limits you will get a work done as 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into q divided by r this much work is done by the external agent in bringing unit positive charge from infinity to the point p by definition that is the potential at that point therefore the electrostatic potential at p is given by 
v is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r. Now, let us derive the expression for the potential difference between two points. The potential difference between two points in an electric field is a work done in moving a unit positive charge from one point to the other. So I want to find the potential difference between two points which are at a distances R1 and R2 from the source charge. Therefore, I can get this by integrating the expression for the work done over a small distance dr dash within the limit R dash is equal to R2 to R dash is equal to R1. That is W is equal to integral R2 to R1 dW. Substituting for dW and integrating it within the limit R2 to R1, we will get an expression as W is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. And by definition, this is the potential difference between those two points. Therefore, we can say V is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon 0, 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. Actually, the potential difference between two points is independent of the path through which the charge is displaced. But it depends only on the initial and final positions of the charge. That means the potential difference between two points depends only on the position of those two points, not on the path through which we are displacing the charge. That is why we are saying the electric field is conservative in nature because the work done by the electric field is independent of the path or work done by the electric field over a closed path is zero. Now let us have a look on the graph which shows the variation of the potential and field with the distance from a point charge. <clears throat> so this blue line shows the variation of potential with the distance from a point charge and this dark blue line represent the variation of electric field with the distance for a point charge. So you can see both of them varying almost in the same way but remember that V is propo inversely proportional to R but E is inversely proportional to R squared. So these are the two graphs. You are, we can just have a comparison how potential difference vary and how electric field vary with the distance from a point charge. Potential at a point due to an electric dipole. An electric dipole is a system consisting of two equal and opposite charges separated by a finite distance. In figure, we can see an electric dipole made up of two charges, positive Q and negative Q, separated by a distance 2A. 2A is called the dipole length. And the moment of the dipole is 2A into Q. <coughs> now, let us consider a point P, which is at a distance R, from the center O of the electric dipole. We want to calculate the electric potential at P due to this dipole. I am joining the charge positive Q to P and the distance between P and charge positive Q is R1. Similarly, the distance between the charge negative Q and P is R2. To find the potential at P, we will calculate the potential V1 at P due to the positive charge first, then the potential at P due to the negative charge. The sum of these two potentials will be the total potential at P. Now, the potential at P is given by V is equal to V positive Q plus V negative Q. Substituting for V positive Q and V negative Q, we can rewrite this expression as V is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R1 minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q by R2, which is Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. <coughs> now, we want to find 1 by R1 and 1 by R2. For that, I am drawing a perpendicular from A to N. And we have a right angle to triangle APN 
from that we can find r1 then again i am drawing a perpendicular from o to the line bp so we have another right angle triangle by using that we can find r2 for that from this right angle triangle we can find the value of an as a sin theta and on as a cos theta now applying pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle a n p r1 square is equal to a n square plus n p square make substitute substitutions for a n square and n p square a sin theta the whole square plus op minus o n the whole square expand op minus o n the whole square as op square plus o n square plus 2 op into o n in this equation we can substitute the values of o n o p and so we will get r1 square is equal to a sin theta the whole square plus r square plus a cos theta the whole square minus 2 r a cos theta applying some identities in trigonometry and on simplification we can obtain the relation r1 square is equal to a square plus r square minus 2 r a cos theta taking r square out you will get r square into a square by r square plus 1 minus a into 2a cos theta by r. We know that the dipole length is very small. So, a is a very small quantity in comparison with the r. So, a by r, a by r will be very small and the higher powers of a by r, say a by r the whole square or a square by r square will be a very small quantity and we can neglect it and we can conclude as r1 square is equal to r square into 1 minus 2a cos theta by r. The reason is a square is very very less in comparison with the r square. Now r1 square is r square into 1 minus 2a cos theta by r. From that we can find r1 and we can find 1 by r1. Here in the expression for 1 by r1 we will apply binomial theorem and neglect the higher terms of a by r that is a square by r square a cube by r cube etc we can conclude that 1 by r1 is equal to 1 by r into 1 plus a cos theta by r similarly we can find the value of r2 square the similar procedure will lead you to get the value of 1 by r1 r2 as 1 by r into 1 minus a cos theta by r we have the general expression for the potential difference or potential at the point as v is equal to q divided by 4 by epsilon 0 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2 substituting the values of 1 by r1 and, and 1 by r2 as 1 by r1 we have calculated 1 by r2 also we have calculated substituting these 1 by r1 and 1 by r2 in the above expression on simplification we can arrive at this equation v is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon 0 r into 2a cos theta by r but we know that q into 2a is the dipole moment p and r into r is r square so we got v is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon 0 into p cos theta divided by r square so this is the expression for the electric potential at a point due to an electric dipole so we are imagining that this dipole is a very very short one now there are two special cases we know the axial line and the equatorial line of a dipole are very important so we can reduce the expressions for potential at a point on the axial line and at the point on the equatorial line. so for a point on the axial line the value of theta will become zero 
So cos theta is equal to cos 0 that is equal to 1. So we will get the expression for the potential as V is equal to P divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 as Similarly, for a point on the equatorial line, theta is equal to 90 degree but cos 90 is equal to 0. Therefore, the potential at a point on the equatorial line becomes 0. So this is an important result. At any point on equatorial line, the potential is 0.